Hello everyone, this is Mustang Boba coming at you with another Digital Tamers Reborn Guide. This time we're going to be doing a much requested feature of how to earn bits. So, the first thing you want to do, go to battle mode. And then if you're absolutely new, just go to free battle. Once you're in free battle, you can just crank using this item here, this little slider here, crank them up to whatever the highest level you feel comfortable fighting. For example, you can fight about 120 your stats are about 120, you can fight there. You can fight them at that level if your stats are about so on and so forth. So, for example, I'm just going to fight one of these guys. Real quick and show you that if I needed bits quick, like if I didn't have enough to do challenges, which is how you're going to do most challenges, this is how you can earn bits if you have literally nothing else because you can do it for free. It's going pretty fast. I got like 3,900 bits there. That's like up near the higher end of how many bits you're going to get. But what you really want to do to earn bits in the early game, go into challenge modes, and you can do really any challenge and it'll it'll make you money, but one that you're probably not aware of is this one right here, Bargaining the Trip, which while it's a three-star challenge, it's actually easier than some two-star challenges. So as you saw, we have like 5,000 in our stats here, but if we go down to this guy, he only has like a few thousand. But we can come in here, and boom, one shot. So even if you only have a thousand in all of your stats, you can easily come and do bargaining the trip and one shot literally the entire arena. 5,000 bits, 1,000 XP. You know, that took us literal seconds there. Now, you're not going to be able to do it with something like stats like this, but if you have about 1,000 in your stats, bargaining the trip is a deceptive, easily, a deceptively easy way to farm bits in the early game. My general strategy, I haven't even bothered learning the exact bits amounts of these two challenges because I just go straight that if I am trying to level someone up I just get them to the point where they can fight and bargain the trip and then just do that when you get higher level you start doing these down here and they'll start giving you way more and even in this here bargaining the trip is not the one that gives you the most um, bits per challenge but it gives you the most um, that you could grind at such a low level and it will really help you get there. It gives you good XP, it gives you good bits, and it'll help you get off the ground. Once you're in the more mid to late game, you can start farming the really late game challenges, like getting like 20k per challenge and stuff like that. But until then, bargaining the trip will probably help you out the most, just like it's helped me out a lot. Another thing you can do, it's not as effective, is if you go to the digital world, like say you're trying to get some tickets for digital tales, you can go to the digital world. It's a little bit expensive. There is a challenge to make it cheaper, but let's see, you can go here for about 4,000 if you do the challenge, and the enemies in there, the stronger they are, the more bits they give you, so you can kind of help make a return on investment when if you go to the digital world, if you're already going there for something else, you shouldn't go there exclusively to farm money, but if you're already there for something else, you can kind of penny pinch and make a little bit of money back. But I hope this guy's helped you out. I hope this guide helped you out. And if you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time, this is Paul and Sam Boba signing off. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye, God bless, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.